now you can see basically in electrical system the loads are classified into three areas the load is categorized into three areas the first one is nothing but resistive load next we have the inductive load and the capacitive load so what is mean by resistor first understand what is mean by resistor resistor means it is an element which opposes the free flow of electrons which will oppose so in the last class we have understood about the current the electron theory so there what we have seen with the flow of electron we can able to get the value of ampere rating so here get okay, this flow of electrons are getting opposed because of resistance value so please make a note that whenever the resistance value is high the flow of electrons will be less so whenever the resistance value is less the flow of electrons will be more okay? so take a simple example a rough example if you want to go somewhere okay it is a distance of almost like 5 km and to go and to reach to that distance of 5 km you are having two routes on route 1 is huge traffic whereas on route 2 there is no traffic which one will you prefer okay obviously where you have the least amount of traffic the path is same it is of 5 km and 5 km so same like that electron will flow in that direction where the resistance is less where the traffic is less so here this resistive load means where the least amount of resistance is there I'm having an equipment so in that equipment if the resistance is very less that is nothing but resistive load so how can you able to say this is a resistive load how can you able to say with the help of conversion if the load is taking the input as electrical and giving the output as heat that is something but resistive load whatever the equipments it can be a light it can be the water heater it can be incandescent lamp or it can be anything so here you can see it is a physical quantity or an element which opposes the free flow of electron which will oppose the free flow of electron so resistive loads are typically used to convert current into form of energy such as heat you can see whatever the resistive loads we have basically this will change the form of energy how it will change the form of energy with respect to your current to heat so as per the phasor diagram the voltage and current will be in phase as per the phasor diagram the voltage and current will be in phase what do you mean by phasor diagram whenever you are going to simulate any model whenever you are going to simulate any model so before inventing something what we are going to we are going to make a we are going to make a model okay nothing but a simulation model in any software it can be a matlab it can be anything okay so when you are going to simulate okay so what is happening over here if it is a resistive load the voltage and current both are starting at 0 degrees and ending at 180 degrees this is actually one cycle okay this is complete one cycle over here this is the positive side of cycle and this is the negative side of cycle so the voltage this blue color waveform what you can see is actually a voltage waveform and this red color waveform what you can see is actually your current waveform so voltage and current both are starting at 0 degrees and ending exactly at 180 degrees at pi angle again starting at 180 again concluding at 360 so here what we can say if it is a resistive load the voltage and current will start at same point and end at same point so here we are talking about a concept called as power factor a concept called as power factor so what is the simple definition of a power factor the cosine angle between the voltage and current the angle between the voltage and current wave from what is the difference we have and that difference is noted as cos value so here there is no angle difference between voltage and current as both are starting at zero and ending at 360 degrees over here so here for the resistive load the cos phi value is 0 degrees the cos phi value is 0 degrees exactly and as we know the cos 0 is 1 as per the trigonometric table so cos 0 is 1 so here what we can say for purely resistive load the cos phi is 1 what is cos phi nothing but power factor so power factor will be 100% if you are going to use a resistive load there is no kind of loss there is no kind of loss over here this is the main concept of your resistive load i hope it's very clear regarding the resistive load everyone please any doubts you can please clarify mr fahad it's clear for you i want to ask one question why usually we i am sorry mr fahad uh, your, voice is... your voice is not clear mr fahad 
सर एक्चुअली आई वांट टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस ग्राफ यानी जीरो टू टू पाई एंड पाई टू टू पाई ओके फाइन ओके पाई सर द वैल्यू ऑफ पाई इज 3.14 यस व्हेन इट डिग्रीज इक्वल टू व्हेन यू आर गोइंग टू कन्वर्ट इट विल बी 3.14 बट डोंट कन्वर्ट द वैल्यू इनटू 3.14 Okay, what is mean Sorry? by pi? What is mean by pi in symbolic form? Only one eighty degrees. When you are going to convert, okay. that will be three point one four. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. That is symbolic, yani. Exactly. Okay, never convert the pi value. When you are going to convert the pi, definitely it will be three point one four only. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Got. It. Next year. So, sir, says, what about the what about the curve? If the curve is high or low it does not matter yeah we are we are coming we are coming for that we are coming for okay, the next okay. one okay in that okay, okay. so here you are talking about if the magnitude okay this level is called as magnitude okay if the magnitude is more uh, more or high remember that always the voltage will be fixed like you can see in your home also the voltage is 230 for the single phase system in my home also the voltage is 230 so magnitude will be fixed the magnitude for any single phase supply will be fixed this is a single phase sim simulated model for the resistive load so magnitude will be fixed yeah. only the current value will differ based upon the load if you are having a 5 kilowatt of load the amount of current current consumption will be different if you are having 2 2 kilowatt of load the amount of current consumption will be different so this waveform this current magnitude waveform will differ but the voltage will never differ i hope it's clear for you mr fahad yeah 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 it's clear sir it's perfectly clear okay fine